welcome back to my channel. This is my official hello to you. You have seen quite a bit of my morning. I have been awake for over three hours already. So um, our morning looks a little bit different depending when the kids wake up. Um, as you saw, Lainey was up pretty much right away with Trevor and I. So she was either playing on the ground, getting fed a bottle or sitting on Trevor's lap. And then she ate breakfast with Trevor and I. Um, normally my son would also eat breakfast with us, but he went to bed late. So we are letting him sleep in a little bit. So we had his plate ready, but he ate when he woke up, but I was able to do my Bible time. I was able to make breakfast for the family. I was able to help take care of Lainey and started a load of laundry. Today is a wash the sheets kind of day. And so I already have the sheets in the dryer and a second load in the washer. And so it's been like a productive yet also peaceful morning besides the fact that Lainey was crying a lot of it. Um, she's teething and so it's just one of those. It's just one of those harder days. And yesterday was a little bit harder for her as well. So hoping that that, you know, that tooth pops through soon so she can be back to her normal happy self. The kids were playing. That was honestly a blessing. That shot you saw of Lainey next to Hudson playing. Hudson loves Lainey so much, he topples her 24 seven. He tries to flip her, he lays on top of her, he kisses her all over and it usually ends in tears. So the fact that I was able to just sit back, I was pumping and just watch them play for a couple minutes was like, what is going on? This is amazing. So Hudson, I did a toy rotation last night after he went to bed. So he's had fresh toys this morning that he hasn't seen in at least a week or two. And so he is like a whole new man right now. He is loving these new toys. He's playing with this little mixer and bread and little knife that you, like wood knife you cut fruit with and he is loving it. Lainey is asleep. So it's just this one-on-one -on -one time with Hudson. I had a little bit of one-on-one -on -one with Lainey this morning. Then Trevor went to work and now she's sleeping. So a little bit one-on-one -on -one with Hudson. So it's nice mornings that she wakes up earlier in the fact that she's down, they kind of like don't overlap a ton. So then it's like one-on-one -on -one with her, one-on-one -on -one with him, and then I'll have them both a little bit and then he'll go down for him. So I'm gonna let him play a little bit and I got the kitchen all cleaned as you saw. So I'm gonna play with him, get him dressed for the day. He's still in his PJs and we'll go from there. have quite a few bananas that are super rotten and Hudson was helping me bake. So we were just playing with his little wooden mixer. So we are going to make some banana bread while Sissy's sleeping. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Can you say hi? Hi. Say let's make bread. It is close to 11. We have this one awake. We've just been playing, hanging out, and I want to show you the state of the toys this time of day. <laughs> this is the playroom filled with some socks, our dog's leash, lots of toys, and our living room. Some more socks, lots of toys, some of daddy's books off the shelf. Everything else for the most part is clean besides this blanket, but it's just lots and lots of toys, how it should be. But nap time for HUD is when I clean all of this up. Little Miss here is having a little early lunch, some banana strawberry puree. I have talked a lot about baby lug weaning, especially on my blog. Um, I did that with Hudson pretty much where you offer like solids from the start and it's more about them controlling how much they eat and like learning how to like feed themselves and getting them exposed to like real food like, early. You want to feed sis? Yeah. Okay. But with Lainey it just hasn't worked as well and so I just have to be okay with that and thank you. Strawberry this morning like some bites of like an actual strawberry and stuff like that. So we're like starting to, but she's seven months. So it's not like we're in a huge hurry that she needs to be eating three huge meals like we are every day, you know, or like three like adult size meals every single day or even what he eats. Like she's only seven months. So 
We're learning this. Um, oh, you're going to drip. Hudson loves to feed her. It's a lot messier. She doesn't really like bibs, so we kind of try to just be a little bit more careful during lunch. Breakfast, she wears her PJs, and so they get dirty. Lunch, she has her regular clothes, and then dinner doesn't really matter because she, oh, will change right after, but he loves helping. Are you having a good day? No. No? We've played so many toys. I didn't show you, but our... Banana chocolate chip bars turned out so good. You want to keep eating says? Yeah. Yeah, that's what makes you happy. Is that good? He is enjoying one of our bars. They're so good. Lunch is simple. Meat, cheese, crackers, strawberries for him today. And I am heating up some leftover homemade pizza in the oven that Trevor made last night. So it's a pretty easy, don't have to cook type of lunch today. <laughs> for a nap. Lainey is playing. I just took Maple outside. Now it's time to get Lainey down for a nap soon. Catch him on laundry. Catch him on dishes from lunch. Um, and clean up all of the havoc that has happened so far. So, And hopefully get in a little bit of got some podcasts, kind of YouTube vibe while I get some things done once Lainey goes down. So... up running out and about because their naps were not the best um we ran to good old starbucks um it was a nice chance to get out of the house um hudson is wanting his cake pop here you go bud can you say please thank you <laughs> um hudson woke up after like 45 minutes just crying he, both of his pinkies um, are broken and lost and we are not gonna buy more because we wanted him weaned by the time he was two and he's gonna be two at the beginning of June. But it's like a new thing that they're gone. Um, and so he woke up after 45 minutes crying and then I was, he went back to sleep. I didn't have to go in there, but then he woke up and it, it had been less than two hours. He usually takes at least a two and a half to three hour nap. And so he just woke up just crying. I don't know if it was because he was missing the, you know what? And Lainey wouldn't let me put her down. So I'd get her, I'd got her asleep on me and would lay her down so softly and she would just scream. She normally, so she does her first nap in the crib. She did that this morning. And then her second nap is during Hudson's long nap. And so I don't want them to disturb each other since they share a room. And Hudson's one nap is like important for both me and my sanity as well as him and his like tone and mood for the remainder of the afternoon. And so she does her second one like on the couch. Like I make a little barrier or whatever and I've done it on the playroom floor before but the couch is cozier and not as cold because it's freezing. Um, but I had to hold her her whole nap. But honestly it ended up kind of being 
like a blessing in disguise because I usually take the kids naps and I'm like, like you saw in the one clip, I was like, I need to clean and I need to finish laundry and I need to get started on dinner and I need to do this, this, this. And I was able to pick up the toys and do lunch dishes, but I was not able to do laundry. I was not able to start on dinner. I was not able to have any time by myself. But here's the deal. I was able to rest with my daughter and I ended up falling asleep, which is like not like me. I do not nap during the day. Not that I couldn't, but it's that I physically like can't in the way of like, I'm not going to let myself nap when I have so many other things to do. And so it was nice because it kind of was like a forced rest. And so I ended up not really getting anything done. And honestly, like I'm kind of okay with it. Um, but it just meant that the kids and I were like, let's get out of the house because otherwise we're going to have a quite a long afternoon before Trevor gets home. So we, because we just moved, this is Starbucks I've never been to, but it's in Duluth. I got Hudson A cookies and cream cake pop. I got myself a birthday cake pop. So good, honestly. And then I got pink drink. I always do light ice, no berries. And it's so good. I don't drink coffee. So this is like my, my little fun drink that I get occasionally. And because we don't have one in our city, I don't go as often, which is kind of nice. It just makes it a little bit more of a special treat than when I do go. So we are going to head back home now. I'm going to listen to a bit of a podcast on the 25 minute drive home, get home, feed Lainey and get started on dinner before Trevor gets home. So we will see you then. We are all home. It is four o'clock. Normally I would have already started dinner by now, but what I I'm making tater tot hot dish tonight. All those Midwesterns know the glory and comfort of a good old tater tot hot dish. So I got some ground beef. I'm gonna get that started here and then get Lainey and Hudson's diapers changed, get Lainey a bottle and then come back to it and hope that I can have the whole thing in the oven here cause it does take a little bit of time. Um, and again, my plan was to get this started. What I normally try to do is get dinner started during my like, sometimes it's a half an hour, sometimes it's two hours where the kids laps, naps overlap. Usually it's around an hour. That's usually where I start. Tried to get dinner started, but that's okay. We go with the flow. And every day of motherhood, stay at home life is different. And some days are just not gonna sleep as well. So I'm gonna get some dinner started and Trevor is usually home by like 4 45 or 5 and it is four o'clock right now so hopefully I can get this in the oven here so we don't eat later than normal. Are you trying to get Sissy out? Yeah. Can you bring her a toy? Yeah. Bring her a toy. toy. This is the way to keep her happy while I cut this onion and get this started. vlogging anymore because I was just showing my day yesterday. Yesterday was a great day. Um, the kids were really like playing together which having them be so close in age like my son is still young like that doesn't always happen and so it was just a good day. Got out of the house, cooked meals, got the house clean before my husband got home like all these things and then today happened and today has not been a good day. Lainey is not sleeping the greatest and needing to be held for naps. And if I'm being honest, I 
I feel really overwhelmed. It's one of those days where I just want to like be alone and not do the dishes and do laundry and care for a crying baby. Like I just want to like be secluded and like just worry about myself. But that can't happen. Like motherhood keeps going on and we got out of the house this morning to try to give me a little bit of a break. That was my husband's idea. He's really sweet and like obviously wants me to be okay. But it's been a taxing day. It's only the early afternoon and I'm excited for my husband to get home. Um, I, I love my kids. I love the role of being a mom. I love that I can be home. But there are days, it's, it's real life that there are days that are really hard. And that's just how it is. That's just one day can be great and the next day really the opposite. Um, but I have to remind myself that this age is a season, that they will grow up and I will miss them this age. I really will. But I just wanted to come back on here because yesterday I was, I was all productive and I was in happy spirits and the kids were super well behaved and all these things. And today is the opposite of that. I've been feeling really down. I've been feeling anxious. I haven't gotten anything done. The house is kind of a mess right now my my son just screamed and wouldn't sleep and Lainey I had to hold her to sleep again and it's just like I just want to be able to just sit down and just be my own person but like that's just not an option and I have to keep going um and so I just want to come on here and say that it's okay to have those days where you don't get anything done it's okay to have those days as a mom where it's really hard um, I'm really thankful for my friend Kat because I vented to her over Marco Polo this morning. Um, just, this is real life. It's really hard, but it's also really rewarding. And so give yourself grace. And I'm saying that out of preaching to myself because today, um, I feel like I need a month long vacation by myself without a child, just me and my husband. Um, to not do those mother tasks but that's not real life today is very challenging but <sighs> there are days like that and hopefully tomorrow will be better so thank you so much for watching this video um this is the realistic day in the life of a stay-at-home mom see you in the next video